Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are focusing on ASP.NET Core helper methods and classes. In ASP.NET Core, helper methods are a set of utility functions provided by the framework that can be used to perform common tasks in a simplified and efficient way. Here are some examples of help, helper methods in ASP.NET Core, ASP Core. So first one is the HTML helper. Provide a set of methods can be used to generate HTML markup in a view. That is the first helper method in ASP.NET Core that is HTML helper and that is provide uh, a set of methods like text box, label, action link and drop down list. Here is a syntax of your uh, set of methods of HTML uh, helper and generate HTML markup in a view uh, on a browser you can say. The second uh, helper method that is URL helper provide a way to generate URLs for action within your application. Here are some example of URL helper methods like a URL dot action, action name, controller name, URL dot route URL that is the route name you can take it here like new id equals to one and URL dot content then uh, you can just pick the uh, file of your uh, image file you can say. So URL dot content you can just uh, add it here static file dot png so you can use URL dot content and the next one is use URL dot page like the page name null value and that is fine to new object that is new id equals to one. So here here you can say that uh, most of the times you are using URL dot content to uh, add uh, in the image source property. So that is the URL property. So URL dot content that get uh, generate the URL for your action within your application. Okay. So the next one is the view context file. View context uh, provide access to information about the current view being rendered, including the HTTP context and the view data. So here we have an example. Here you can say that uh, view context is there. View context is the context class. And by using the view context dot HTTP context dot request, you can just get the request path of uh, your URL, you can say. And the next one is get the user uh, that is currently logged in into the system. So current view, uh, current view being rendered that get the information by using the view context. So that is the purpose of uh, your helper method that is view context. And the next one is the model state provide a way to validate user inputs and handle validation errors that is the model state so uh, what user inputs actually inside in the submitting the form uh, form like a login form so uh, user inputs like username and the passwords and handle validation errors i mean to say that username is not null username length and uh, you can say that uh, password length and as well as uh, like that information so user input and handle uh, validation error also uh, handled by the modal state. So that is also a helper method. The next one is tag helper. Tag, uh, lots of tag helper uh, or you can say thus uh, built in tag helper also uh, available in the ASP.NET Core like uh, uh, input tag helper like uh, and ASP4 tag helper uh, that is. So if you want to design the tag helper then you can watch the next video. Uh, just I'm going to design the tag helper that is a custom tag helper you can say so provide a way to create a custom HTML element that can be used in razor view that can be used in razor view so tag helper is a custom HTML element that can be used in razor view so here we have a simple example of tag helper and how to use it and how to create it that um, that tag helper you can watch the next video okay so the next one is the temp data also a helper method uh, or you can say that helper the class uh, provide a way to store and retrieve temporary data between request okay so provide a way to store and retrieve temporary data between request so you can say that uh, temporary data uh, in the form of message so hello world is actually initialized in temporary data in, in the variable message and message is actually assigned to the view back uh, in the later session, we will discuss about uh, view bag, view data and temp data difference between amongst. So uh, here we have a temp data that is a helper method also. The next one is view component. View component provide a way to create a reusable component that can be used in multiple views. That is the view component. Provide a way to create reusable components that can be used in multiple views. 
View component is a class in ESP.NET Core that provides a way to encapsulate and reuse functionality that generate HTML markup or other content that is specific to a particular component. View components are similar to the partial view but, uh, but have some key differences versus a partial view is typically used to render a part of the view or page. A view component is a standalone component that can have its oven model view and controller like functionality so difference between both uh, considered that is a partial view and the view component uh, standalone applications you can say that in the view component but uh, in the uh, partial view we have only a view okay the next one is anti forgery that is also a uh, uh, you can say that a helper class or helper methods provide a way to prevent cross site cross request forgery cross request forgery uh, attack by generating anti forgery tokens. Anti forgery is a security feature in ESP.NET Core that helps protects, uh, protect against cross site request forgery attacks. Uh, CSRF cross site request forgery attacks are a type of web attack in which a malicious user can trick a victim into submitting a form or performing an action that the victim did not intend to perform. The anti forgery tokens, uh, that anti forgery features works by generating and validating tokens that are embedded in HTML form and request. When a form is rendered or request is made, an anti forgery token is generated and included in the form or request. When the form is uh, form or request is submitted, the token is validated to ensure that the matches the original token. If the token do not match, the request is rejected as the potentially malicious. So here we have an example like uh, public void configure service inside the configure service you have to add anti forgery uh, for the csrf uh, header token after that you can inside in the form that is at the rate html that is helper method of the html also anti forgery token and the next one is the attribute uh, inside in your action method that is validate anti forgery tokens okay so the next one uh, helper method that is query helper Provide a query helper provide a way to manipulate a query string parameter in the URL. Query helper is a helper class in ASP.NET Core that provide a set of methods for manipulating query string in URLs. Uh, query strings are used to pass data between web pages and are usually appended to the end of the URL. So here we have an example in the form of the key value pair dictionary and add a query string in the URL. And the last one is I string localizer and uh, lots of user actually use in the website that is string localizer provide a way to localize text in your application. I string localizer is an interface in ASP.NET Core that is used to localize string in an application. Localization is the process of adapting an application to meet the languages and culture requirements of a particular region or audience. So here we have a helper class and helper methods in ASP.NET Core. And lots of uh, interviewers actually ask that type of question in interviews. So prepared well and just uh, best of luck. Thank you very much for watching this video.